funny to me how he can sense when I'm walking faster. Even if he's in front of me, he'll stop running. I got some balls. I got some other things. What are these things? Why are they shaped like that? Sit. Sit. Chris, sit. Pull the key out the ignition. Run your mouth, but I never so pretty. I can see how this would be nice in the summer. So it's very wheelchair accessible, this park. Look at that. We're at the other highest point, I think. So pretty. Wow. This is the pretty side. The other side, the other side is not so pretty. <laughs> Do you know what I think that is? But the clouds are covering it. I'm not sure. Do you know what that is? He sat over here and looked over. Oh my gosh, this is so nice. I want to like bring food next time on a sunny day and eat here. I forgot to do it before. It's still kind of dirty, but the vacuum is kind of working. I've kind of been enjoying having the glass doors like right in the middle. And then Sugar and I will run around and try to chase each other. He will actually be entertained by it. Obviously I am, I'm like laughing my ass off. Anyway, so recently my tire, I feel like is doing something weird or maybe because the roads are slicker. I don't know, cause I got new or I replaced my tires with used ones that were better than the ones that I had before. And then I got it like rotated or I got some something that goes usually with the um, brake and tire service. I got that done, I got new tire, I got new brakes shortly before that so i don't know what's going on with my tires but sometimes when i'm like going this way i'll lose control of my wheel yeah it's not safe so i think i'm also low on air or that could solve all the problems maybe so my sister got me this i don't know how much it was hopefully it wasn't too expensive i told her not to get it for me but i always feel like i don't put the air in my tire correctly um, and I have not gone to the mechanic yet. I still have not heard from him about getting my light repaired after what happened on my way here from California. Um, if you don't know, little recap, I drove over here from California. It took two days. I was driving in front or in the back of a semi truck and its tires suddenly popped. And at that point, I didn't have any uh, like reflex or time to swerve out of the way. So I hit the passenger side headlight shattered it. it <sighs> yeah, I called the mechanic, he got the info, then he lost it. So like almost a whole month goes by. I'm like, hey, what's going on? Like, are we still waiting for the part? I went back again and he took my info and it's been over a week, but it's only been over a week. So actually it's been two weeks now. Has it been two weeks? I don't know. I think tomorrow I'll call him again and see what's going on just to keep tabs on him. But I wanted to try out this product. So it comes out of this little box. It looks like this. It's called the Astro AI Tire or Portable Air Compressor. Okay, I figured it out. Take off the cap, put this on. Uh, it's kind of like a weird spot. Okay, so once that's screwed on, you're going to, oh, it's at 28.5, it's supposed to be at 35. So at PSI, you're gonna do this, oops, back to PSI, and do what it's supposed to be, which is 35, oops. And then once you do that, you use this part, oops, where is it? This is a Lowe's video, by the way. So tomorrow, I am helping my relatives power wash, power wash, pressure wash the side of their house, which I have never used that tool before. I've seen like very satisfying videos on YouTube of someone pressure washing like a concrete ground, concrete floor. I know it could be a dangerous tool, so I'm a little nervous. I'm excited to try this new thing. You know. Dinner. Dinner, 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 dinner. How cute. 
Shh, why do you cry? Look at the clouds in the water. So pretty. We are back from the park. It was a great day. I will let you know how the power washing thing goes tomorrow, if that even happens. I really hope it does. It'll be a really fun learning process, learning experience. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna make some tacos for dinner tonight and have a chill ass night. Hello. So I finished at my relative's house and I learned how to power wash the side of the car. The side of the car, what am I saying? Side of the house. <laughs> and the simple concept, but really you have to like develop a trick because your arms get tired, your fingers get tired from holding the trigger the whole time. Especially with the one that I use. I'm sure there are like more professional grade ones where you don't have to hold the trigger. But, but I feel like I'm finally getting the hang of it. So this is the before. <laughs> That's the after. It's like, well, I'm, I'm here, right? You can see around here. That's when I finally got the hang of it more pressure so it's so much cleaner now i feel like i want to redo this part all over again definitely on a learning curve but i've never done it before and i didn't even like what i was trying to wash away was like mold and mildew i've never seen it develop like like that i mean i never really noticed it on people's houses period but yeah it's just on one side of the house it's quite interesting help my relative pull out some weeds and Basically, clovers are also four leaf clovers. Clovers are also a weed, but she said those are okay and then try to pull out uh, the weed from the root with a screwdriver. Because <laughs> I didn't have any other tools that would work for that. Uh, so yeah, it was quite fun. This is the after. It'd be really hot today, so I didn't leave the blinds open, but look. Look at Shuguru being good. I wanted to show you my new apron from Husky. I love it. I really love it. I feel like it looks so sleek, all black. And it's like, like, um, it's like wider because I didn't shrink it yet. And you can make it really long. And these straps, in the beginning, I was like, they kept falling off like this. So I was like, this this part's too wide. But now that I made it lower, it's actually quite nice. It has the same amount of pockets as my old one, which is great. And then the loops for the hammer. <sighs> I went back to that um, house that needed the black cock. Um, I didn't get dirtier with that because I only worked with the white caulking today. But anyway, they had also asked me prior if I could go up on their roof and tarp one of their chimneys. I'm like, okay, um, I just moved from California, so I'm not used to houses with chimneys, nor am I used to going up on a roof, okay? So they're I was like, you know, I, I I don't know what you have to do to like securely tarp it or whatever. So I just told him that I didn't reply. And then once I got there, the husband had asked me again. And I was like, you know what? He's like, all you gotta do is go up there, wrap the tarp around. We have two, one is bigger. This one might not be big enough because the second chimney was like two vents and uh, it was huge. Anyway, so the first tarp that he gave me, which was brand new and dry, was too small. And then, so he's like, we have another one which was like all wet and like in the grass that one was bigger so i had to climb up there twice because that one was the first one was too small um but anyway i was successful so that's cool hello uh but yeah it was a lot more difficult than i had expected going up there there was a rope around the chimney i'm sure on purpose so that you can get up there on the, what is it called? The gable roof or whatever. And the roof, because I guess you get a lot of water here, it's made of aluminum 
or some kind of metal, like very thin. And with these shoes from Amazon, I could not get a grip. And like with that thin layer of dirt up there, I could not, I could not get any, any grip. So I was like, oh my God, how am I gonna do this? And then I realized it was a piece of rope. Well, actually I used a really long ladder on the far back side of the house. And I was just gonna walk up on the roof and go to the chimney. And then when I realized that I was just slipping and sliding because the chimney right is right here and I would get up from this edge and I was just like sliding down when I try to get up there, I was like, okay, this is so dangerous. And then I realized the chimney luckily was right next to their balcony. So I was like, can I go through the balcony? So I got grabbed my ladder, went to the balcony, went up there. And because I was pretty close to the chimney at that point, I was able to get up there and hang on to the rope around this huge chimney. So I grabbed the chimney, I, mean, I grabbed the rope and <sighs> that was so dangerous. Like I am never agreeing to do that unless I charge a much higher rate than what I was just charging to figure, to finish the clocking. I was like, holy shit, this is so not worth it. Yeah, so they paid in cash. So, and hired me directly through my business. So I'm going to, send them a an invoice because she requested there's a husky playing outside oh that was uneventful so cute you saw your friend you saw your friend Yeah, this love hurts, keep talking all your shit. Ah.